Hola, hola, hola. Buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to be working in my newly, freshly updated flagship planner, my big vertical, or I guess I'm working in a color block right now, my big color block happy planner. This is my flagship planner, my baby. I call her my flagship because she is probably the most important planner to me in my lineup and the one that I think captures my spirit more than any other and this is my creative journal <laughs> i don't even know why i call it a planner although honestly it is still kind of a planner because i use the monthly kind of as a catch-all overview of the month for me i just gave this planner a makeover i used to have it on mini discs and then i had the seasonal doodles cover on it i changed that up i brought in this bright type um cover i thought this would be perfect for may and i love these like pastel rainbow discs i have going on um i still have the pressed florals um cover page and i'm gonna add this sticker to the inside cover I found like a huge pack of stickers like these at my local thrift store. Literally like a pack of more than a hundred stickers. And they're just really fun, cute little stickers. And I really like this one because I love s'mores. So I'm gonna pop it here in the corner. So cute. I love it. Love it, love it. Um just a quick flip through. Year at a glance, covered up the back of that um, cover page, my great habit tracker. Um, today I'm actually going to be setting up my weekly spread <laughs> for this week. Um, so let's skip to May. This is my May monthly. I used seasonal Disney seasonal stickers. Love it. This was last week. Again, Disney seasonal, um, it was fine. I wasn't in love with this spread and so I'm happy to be able to turn the page and move on from this spread. Pull these pages out. So we're gonna be setting up this week, the 8th through the 14th. Pull out these pages, set this aside for now. It's actually Thursday morning, it's Thursday, five in the morning right now. And I still have yet to set up the spread. That's just how it goes sometimes. I had a few things at the beginning of the week that I really had to figure out before I could settle into playing around with my planners. And so it is what it is. But thankfully, this is my creative journal. So I don't really have a lot of high pressure to be in this journal from, you know, Monday morning. So we're going to go really simple with the spread. I've been feeling kind of like I want something just simple and sweet so i'm gonna go with one of my all-time favorite books so this is the modern farmhouse sticker book this is actually the second one i have i have had because i used up the first one entirely so now i have a second copy and i've already used up some of it but absolutely not all of it and i just want something very like homey and calming and sweet so we're going to go ahead and use this modern farmhouse sticker book. At first I thought this was one of the sticker books that I was trying to finish this year, but I don't think it is. I think I'm trying to finish the regular modern farmhouse sticker book. Oh, I should say farmhouse, not modern farmhouse. The regular just farmhouse sticker book, um, the big one. I think that's floating around somewhere. And I need to finish that this year, or I'm trying to finish that this year. I really like the farmhouse sticker books. I'm a big fan. I think it's because my dream is to live in a farmhouse. I kind of do already. I feel like I live in a little bit of more, more of a rural area. And also I have a big garden. I have like dogs, I have fish tanks. You know, I have a neighbor down the street who has like a rooster. I mean, I don't live in a very rural neighborhood. Um, but if you drive out 20 minutes past the city limits, then you really start getting into that farmhouse life. I'm very close to it. I'll get a clear quote. Lay this down here on the side. Okay, I think how I'm going to do this is I'm going to start like day by day 
I don't really have a plan like this all the time, but sometimes I do want to have a little bit of a plan. So I'm going to start decorating um, day by day. So we'll start on Monday. And because this is my creative journal, I think I will go ahead and journal as I lay down stickers and as I remember about what happened Monday and Tuesday. For my creative journal, I just love boxes. I love, 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 love boxes. I tried in previous week's spread to use bullet points as like starting points for writing, but I don't really feel like I liked that very much. And honestly, I think I'm gonna start adding lines like this for those places where um, I don't have like a box to write in because um, I kind of want it to be a little bit neater. Usually I'm not so finicky, but um, I'm just trying new things. Ooh, I like this one right here, this clear quote. Put this right here. Ooh, like so. I love it. I should get some washi tape out. Okay, this is the washi tape I wanted to use. It's a coffee washi tape. Of course, I had to use this. So let me just lay it down all across the bottom. And then I'll worry about this other side later. Ooh, I like this black line art. Trim the excess. Ooh, I really like this sticker. I love all the stripes of color here. Um, I wonder if I should put it here or I kind of want to layer it with a box. So it's not looking all lonely. Okay, right here. Oh my gosh. Usually I'm not so indecisive with my sticker placements, but um, I need to chill out. Ooh, I like this today sticker. It's a good little like journaling prompt. One of these laurels. I think one of these laurels would be nice right here. And I think I'll add another box. I'll add another box maybe right here. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done lines and then the box here. That's fine though. Okay, and now I'm going to sketch out some lines here for writing. They're perfect. I really like how that turned out. And this is a Uni Emot pen. I like this because um, I feel like the ink is a little bit muted, which is perfect for like soft spreads like this. And it's very crisp and clean and dries quickly and um, doesn't skip. So very happy with these Uni Emot pens. I'm thinking of adding maybe some circles, some circle stickers here. Ooh, I love the sunflower sticker. I'm gonna grab this special day sticker here and add it maybe right here because I think it was a special day. Wednesday was a special day. Okay, I think like one of these stickers here, like this pink circle sticker, I think could be like right here. And I think that's good for this side of the spread. So what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to journal a little bit about what happened. So let me do that quickly and then I'll come back and let you all know what happened. Okay, there we go. Um, lots of writing. Love it. Okay, so um, again, this is my creative journal. So I just like to write, you know, the most interesting, exciting things that happened on any given day. Monday was a pretty quiet day. I commuted up to UC Riverside. Um, I wanted to go up there um, just to see people, have meetings with people, uh, particularly my principal investigator, my supervisor, my boss. Um, so that was good. It was a pretty quiet, uneventful day. Um, I think the most exciting thing that happened on Monday was on my drive back down to home, I stopped by a Michael's. I stopped to buy Michael's because I had a Michael's gift card. My friend gave me a Michael's gift card for my birthday. And so I had that. So I, I stopped by Michael's to see what I could get my hands on. And I picked up two packs of scrapbook paper because you were buy one, get one 50% off. And then I also picked up two 
happy planner sticker books. Technically, I didn't break my no buy because I didn't pay money for them because I had the gift card and I actually picked up hand lettered basics and sunshine vibes. This was another sticker book that was like one of the top sticker books that I really, really, really wanted and I just didn't buy and so because I had this gift card I knew exactly that this was one of the sticker books I wanted to pick up so so cute um I love that and then hand lettered basics I wanted because I really like functional stickers and so this was so perfect so clean love um the colors and how clean everything is how whimsical the font is love this so much so I thought this would be perfect for all of my planning needs and then at Tuesday um I think the highlight of Tuesday was the fact that I was facilitating a zine making workshop for the underground scholars at UC Riverside this was something that I had planned out a long long a long time ago and it finally happened on Tuesday and I hosted a zine making workshop. It's basically an art workshop um, focused on mixed media collage. We each made a zine page um, capturing our identities as scholars on campus and everyone had a blast. I brought a huge crafting cart full of crafting supplies, scrapbook paper, magazines, scissors, glue sticks. I mean, I have it all. I am an artist. I do have a whole crafting corner, so I had a lot of things to share. That's something I really, really like about the planning community is that people in this community are so willing to share their personal things. People are so ready to give and just and share their personal personal belongings like sending along stickers or planners or covers or whatever like it's such a giving and sharing community like I had a blast bringing in all of my stickers and scrapbook paper and color pencils and brush markers and felt tip pens and you know I have so much artistic and crafting stuff and these undergraduate students had such a blast playing with everything. This workshop was only supposed to be from 12.30 to 2 p.m. So it was only supposed to last an hour and a half and it lasted until 4.30 p.m. Thankfully, I didn't have anything planned after the event, so I wasn't in a rush to go anywhere. Although honestly, by 4 p.m. I was starting to feel a little tired and that I wanted to start packing up and chilling. And thankfully, people also started getting a little tired around that time. Um, and so I think we were all on the same page that it was time to start wrapping up and start packing everything up because we made such a mess with all of the art supplies everywhere. People were having a blast and I had an amazing time with the Underground Scholars. So if you don't know, the Underground Scholars is an organization that is cross campus across the University of California. So a lot of the UCs have Underground Scholars organizations and this is an organization meant to um, serve and support uh, students who have been uh, system impacted, um, so that's formerly incarcerated students, students who've had family members um, in correctional facilities. Um, I think it also includes people who have spent time in like domestic violence shelters um, for women. And so it has kind of a broad definition of system impacted students. This is a community that I really am trying to be more connected with, particularly because I work as a volunteer um, instructor within jail and prison spaces. And so I really want to start um, making more connections with the underground scholars. So it was a fantastic time, but I was absolutely wiped out after this um, workshop. And then I had to drag my huge craft cart back to my car where I'd parked. I'd parked maybe like a third of a mile from the building. And it was a little bit of a trek. I was sweating at the end of the day, dragging my craft cart back to the car. And then Tuesday was actually the day I also started listening to The Age of Surveillance Capitalism. I think that's the title of the book. It's by Shoshana Zuboff, and I started listening to it on Audible. I actually just canceled my Audible membership, but I can still listen to the titles that I had purchased previously, and I had made one last purchase before I canceled it, and it was this, The Age of Surveillance Capitalism, which is funny because... This book is about how big tech companies basically steal and exploit 
and abuse our behavioral data through all of their apps and how they use that to turn a profit. And they're basically abusing our rights to privacy. And so honestly, that's one of the reasons why I canceled Audible. Um, I've been trying to distance myself from Amazon for a while now. It's difficult. It's hard. I'm not good at it, but I'm trying to distance myself from some tech companies, if not all tech companies. Wednesday was a quiet day at home. I worked from home. Um, I took a break to go thrifting to this local thrift store with my mom. Um, we love thrifting together and she found a couple of things. I found a couple of things. I found a bike. I've been meaning to purchase a bike for the longest time now. I used to have a bike. Um, and then when I moved to my new house about a year and a half ago at this point, I got rid of it because it had at this point taken a beating. It wasn't super um, good anymore and it was just time to let it go and get a new bike. So I sold it at a garage sale and I just never got the energy or time to purchase a new bike. I was thinking of trying to get like a really nice bike, but honestly, it's been so long at this point um, that I hadn't been biking, that I'm not in the routine of having like a bike in my life and so I decided to just go with like a relatively inexpensive bike um, and just kind of build up into the habit of biking around so I bought a bike I also found a huge Winnie the Pooh plush I mean it's not super huge it's like maybe a foot and a half two feet tall super super cute it looks like a um, like a 1990s Winnie the Pooh plush from like Disney store it's in good condition. It's super cute, super soft, and it was really cheap. And so I got that. I also found a pair of sweatpants, um, but it was a good day, a good day at the thrift store. And I'm really, really happy to have my bike. I can't wait to go on long bike rides with him. And then lastly, it was a good day. Um, in general, I spent a lot of time with my boyfriend. He was also working from home. And so we worked on resumes together and we did a bioinformatic workshop together. And then we had a meal prep day, which my boyfriend set up. We've been trying to be more intentional about spending time together and turning like chores into dates and making it all cute. So we did our little meal prep day and we chose a recipe from a, a favorite YouTuber of ours, um, Cowboy Kent Rollins is this amazing like old school cowboy guy that cooks outside and has like a bunch of recipes like cowboy recipes and they're they're actually really tasty he's really famous he has like a million or two million subscribers so he made cowboy Kent Rollins um cowboy chili beans and they were really really good I was very impressed by the recipe and that was it that's what happened on Wednesday so I've been thinking of um, doing something new with the sidebar. I say I always leave it for journaling and then I never journal on it. And so I'm thinking of making it a little bit more guided. Um, not sure exactly what to do here. I like this My Mantra sticker. Maybe I could use this space down here for a mantra, kind of a short space, but I could try. And then this dot grid space, I'm thinking I could potentially use it for like a, a weekly currently section, like currently reading, listening, watching. Um, okay, what if I grab this green box, lay it up here, and then actually I thought I saw like a little laurel wreath thing that I could use to decorate this right here. This little guy. Maybe I could do it like this. And then maybe I could use these heart stickers uh, for the different categories. Like so. Oh, and then before I forget Mother's Day, I'm going to put it right here. Mexican Mother's Day. Ooh, and I could grab this date night sticker and put it right here. Ooh, I should have, I don't want to cover up the quote here. Maybe like underneath, like so. And then this shopping sticker I could add right here. Okay, so I'm going to use my pilot felt tip pen to write currently. 
Okay, before this video gets way too long, I need to write down my currently. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use highlighter to kind of mark out like the different categories. So like so. Um, okay, let's do currently reading. And I'm reading The Age of Surveillance Capitalism while I'm listening to it, but I'm also reading like the physical book, like the physical, um, the physical book of Dune, um, God Emperor of Dune. I'm almost done with it. This is the fourth book in the Dune series by Frank Herbert, and it's okay. I feel like all the books so far haven't been as good as original Dune, but it is what it is. It never is as good as the first. Okay, watching... I'm not watching a lot because RuPaul's Drag Race has ended, but All Stars 8 is around the corner. It's being released this Friday, which I need to make a note of. So there's that. But I am watching Once Upon a Time um, with my boyfriend. This is the series that me and my boyfriend have been working on for the last three years. We're slowly working our way through seven seasons. We're currently right about to finish um, season five, I think. And Once Upon a Time is this old show. It was released a long time ago. It's a modern retelling of various fairy tale stories, and they're all kind of smashed into one larger story. Okay, listening. This one I always struggle with a little bit because I feel like I don't listen to things very religiously. I kind of get stuck in the same old playlists. Although I have really enjoyed listening to Montero by Little Nas X. Next category, eating. Mm, I guess eating, eating, this is pretty standard. I haven't really been eating anything too exciting, but I have been working my way through a box of C's chocolates that I got for my birthday. And then the last category, I'm going to put loving. What have I been loving lately? Um, my new, my new craft tote. Recently got a soft bodied uh, craft tote to sit like right next to me right here. It's literally right here. I wish I could show it to you all. Maybe I'll do like a video on it, but oh, you can kind of see it here. It's just like a little craft tote to carry all of my little crafting stuff. I had a much larger one before, but I wanted a smaller one that I could put right next to me and that I could pull things in and out of really easily. Um, and so I ordered this one online. It's so, so cute. It's called the Everything May um, Soft Craft Toe, and I'll pop a picture of it on the screen. It's been a blessing. I love this thing. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this page like that, and then we're going to work on this page. And I think I'm just going to hurry up and speed up this process because this video is way too long already. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and set up the spread. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, there it is. There's the second half of the spread. Let me go ahead and put these, oops, put these on the rings or the discs. I think it turned out really, really cute. So here, I'll put it on the discs. Oh, I wanted to use this coffee stamp. I think right here would be perfect. Perfect. Love it. There it is, the final spread. I think it turned out really cute. I think it's very soft and simple and exactly what I needed this week. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Adios.